So um, each of you is going to pick a project that you uh, from your organization that you want that you want to replicate that you think is at a stage that you would want to replicate it or something that you have replicated and break it down in, uh, to to more details so that we can. Um, so tomorrow, what will happen in the breakout session is that when one person or one uh, organization presents <coughs> this, there will be other organizations looking at it and saying, OK, how can I replicate this in my scenario? And what of this will work for me and what won't? So break it down to such an extent uh, that they could look at transferring that into their locations. Okay. So what we're going to do is start off with uh, an example from the Celta Foundation so that it helps you uh, work through your own examples and that we all, we, there are the moderators at each uh, group who will help you with any questions you might have after that. So you have some questions that are there already to basically guide your thought processes under each caption or under each category. So just to go uh, through them, uh, you know, just a brief overview. So we have the key value, which is basically what were, what was it exactly that you were trying to deliver, or what was the main problem that you were trying to solve? Who were the key stakeholders? So in your project, who all were involved? Uh, sorry, involved. It was either actively they were participating in the project, or it might be just that you needed their permission, or you needed them to know about what you were doing. So it, you know, think about it in both ways. Um, the other thing is key activities. So this is not only just from starting from implementation, but from that point when you actually start working on or ideating about the project itself. So how do you identify the project to what is the impact created and how are you measuring that? So really from end to end, the whole process needs to be documented. Then you have the end user, so who is the beneficiary? And again, trying to detail that out in terms of what is the profile of that beneficiary as well. So we really understand what is their livelihood, how much are they earning, which part of the city, or are they in an urban area, rural area, tribal area? So try and sort of uh, make it as detailed as possible. Then uh, some uh, some sort of thought processes into how are you engaging with the community? What is the operating model itself? So how are you delivering your solution to the to the community? So what is the logistics? What is the financial model? All those sort of aspects. Um, what are the key resources used? So here it's divided into two. One is like financial cost itself. So you know what are the capital costs that go into it? The fixed cost in terms of infrastructure, in terms of a machine that is required. Um, and then there's a variable cost, which is in terms of HR, how much is required. Or something else, some servicing, some incentive that you need to give to a sales manager. It can be anything. And then after that, other key resources, which are basically in terms of HR. So who all do you need in terms of HR to be working on the project? What is the time that is required? Is there a physical space that is required? So all those things would come under there. And then there is the impact itself. So what is the impact that you hope to achieve? And how are you going to measure it? So what are exactly your metrics there? 